Travel so oh, he falls into the chemicals. Wow. And he's got whoa. This is so whoa. This is vivid, man. I'm digging it. Current schemes. Hugo Strange is finally getting involved. DC Nation, welcome back to another video on the Batman, the 2004 animated series. Today I'm checking out Season 2, Episode 12, the penultimate episode of the season, titled Strange Minds. Now, we saw Hugo Strange in Episode 7 of the season, titled Meltdown. He was involved in, like, the court case with Ethan Bennett, aka Clayface, but Hugo Strange didn't really do anything in that episode. He just showed up. He debuted on the show, but I'm hoping in this episode we really get to see the show's interpretation of his character. I always like the Batman and Hugo Strange rivalry because it's a mind game. There's a lot of potential there, a lot of opportunity to have like out of the box ideas, and I think it could be really awesome. So, yeah, guys, with all that out of the way, let's get into the latest episode of The Batman. Uh, Yin, I would not open that door. Who is it? Joker? Oh no, dude! Dude, Yin with her ha hair down, it's a different look. I dig it. I'm not gonna lie, it looks good, but... Oh no! Dude, Joker already messed up Ethan Bennett's life. Now he's gonna mess up Yin's life? Man. Mmm. I did. don't trust Hugo. Oh, Joker! Dude, what is Joker doing here? Joker, I, Joker is just causing chaos at this point for no re- Well, like, what is this reason for this one? <laughs> ah, okay, he's stealing that. I'm a tad embarrassed, Bruce. Bruce? Uh, uh, Bruce is gone. He well, 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 turned into Batman. I wonder if Hugo Strange will catch on. Because Hugo nuts. wants to be Batman in the comics all the time. Oh, nice. Mm. Let's go. Oh. Proceed. I already have, Professor. Well, then you've done something wrong. I'll check it myself. Mm. Oh. Well, this is no. <laughs> Welcome to my head. <laughs> ah, okay. He's actually in his mind. So it did work. I'm inside your mind. Whoa. Dude, this is so cool. He walked into the bat symbol. Oh, and now he's going to the city of Joker. Hey. Hmm. Uh, dude. Dude, I feel so. Oh, he falls into the chemicals. Wow. And then he's going. Whoa. This is so. Whoa. This is vivid, man. I'm digging it. Current schemes. <laughs> you better hurry, Batman. Yin's running out of time. Oh. Ah, what? It's Batman. Oh, what? Oh, oh. What? <laughs> Yo! So Batman just won! Oh my gosh! He beat him! He beat him in his own mind! Mm. Ah, yeah! Dude, the bats coming out, that was so dope! Are you of sound mind? Yeah, he's good. The Batman. Ah. Wow. Wait. What? 
this beat. But yeah, guys, that episode was really good. I'm happy it ended with Hugo Strange revealing his true intentions of trying to go into the mind of Batman. Because Hugo Strange is obsessed with the Batman in the comics, so him to be obsessed with him here makes total sense. But yeah, getting into the review portion of this video, I just want to first talk about the premise of this episode. Joker kidnapping in Batman pretty much teaming up with Hugo Strange to go into the Joker's mind. Batman exploring the insanity of the Joker. That's a great premise, had a lot of potential, and this episode actually delivered on that potential. Like, let's talk about just Batman being the mind of the Joker. All the vivid imagery, the great visuals, and seeing part of Joker's origin, like that one scene where Batman encounters Joker before he became the Clown Prince of Crime, and this guy falls into the vat of chemicals, and then Joker emerges from the chemicals, it was so well done, and then the multitude of Jokers, Joker's face being on like a moon, a bird, all these different things, and opera, it was so trippy, and even better was like the puns, like Joker's puns, now the animation matched that, and okay, Yin, let's talk about Yin. Yin had a good part in this episode. She wasn't in a lot, like she was the damsel in distress, basically. But it worked out well. Like, Yin's a great character. I hope we see more of her. And at the end of that short interaction between her and Batman, it was good. Now, another character in this episode that was done great was Hugo Strange. Yes, he debuted in episode 7, but I feel like this episode is the one that really developed his character, really showcased his character. We got to see him interact with Bruce. In the beginning, I was like, is he actually a good guy? Like, he's taking over Arkham, he's trying to fix all these villains, their insanity, but by the end, we see that, okay, yeah, he's trying to fix the villains, but his true motivation is to get in the mind of the Batman. He's obsessed with the Batman, the Dark Knights, and actually in the comics, that's how Hugo Strange is. He's obsessed with the Batman. He's obsessed with his mind. And he even puts on the Batman cape and cowl at one point. It's like, it's a crazy story. There's so many crazy stories of Hugo Strange in the comics and all of Batman media. So to see him here, I was skeptical. I was wondering how they were going to interpret his character, but they showcase his character perfectly. I'm excited to see Hugo Strange eventually return and just see this mind game between him and Batman continue. But other than that, let's talk about how this episode wrapped up. Yeah, Batman saved Yin, but how'd he get to that point? We see Batman in Joker's mind. He's losing at one point. He's actually starting to go insane. Like, the stakes are high. I was invested, but when Batman actually tricked Joker, got in his mind, and Joker is basically in Batman's mind now, and that one moment when Batman released the bats out of his cape, it was so dope. And to see Joker cry at the end in Arkham Cell, Batman beat Joker in his own mind. It's one thing for Batman to beat him in reality, but to beat the Joker in his own imagination? That's crazy. So yeah, this whole episode was very trippy. A lot of great sequences and the payoff, the wrap up of the episode, the ending was so well done. And yeah, I really love this episode. I'm excited for the season finale next week, A Night in the City. We got Riddler, Penguin, and Joker. But yeah, guys, I'm overall going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend it. You guys, some of your thoughts on this episode down below. What do you think about Hugo Strange in this show? What do you think about Batman tricking Joker in his own mind? What do you think about Yin's character? But yeah, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up. New channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next The Batman reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.